Welcome everyone, Christine here on Serious Gaming with Battlestar Galactica Deadlock Resurrection Fleet Admiral Import Save. Yes, import. It doesn't give you fleets or the resources that you had, but it does give you blueprints, which are very, very useful. Anyway, persistent damage, crew veterancy. Let's go. Previously on Battlestar Galactica Deadlock. Lachesis is rerouting all of its forces to Helios Alpha. PyCon is already at breaking point, and Geminon was ready to roll over the moment when Nutu signed the treaty. The Cobal Alliance has ratified the ceasefire with Cylon Command. The peoples of Helios Gamma, Delta, and Beta will see no more violence from today. It was not supposed to happen like this. You have to understand, I never intended for them to go this far without you. You should have told me. You've sacrificed one third of the colonies, and for what? It is one year that can be used to negotiate a lasting peace. We tried our best to make colonial fleet work, but you can't be blamed for the weakness of others. We've got problems with our FTL computer. I think the Cylons have got into it somehow, and Tech can't flush them out. We can't make the jump. Galactica, repeat. I didn't hear that right. I'm sorry, Lena. You need to go. We'll catch up. Colonial Fleet. This is Daedalus Actual. The station has been evacuated, and Daedalus Fleet Group is dismissed. I am stepping down from command. Colonial Fleet is effectively dissolved. Go. Protect your families. Protect our people. You shouldn't die here for my mistakes. Lords of Kobol guide you. There's not much you can do about a knife in the back. Struggle, you make it worse. Leave it, and you'll bleed out. Best case scenario, someone takes the knife out and helps you back up. Except for you're still bleeding. And now you got another son bitch running around with a knife. The ceasefire lasted the full year that Lachis has agreed to. No longer, no less. The exact minute the agreement expired, Cylon fleets attacked the Cobal Alliance colonies. We fought back where we could. Had some hard years grounded before we got Colonial Fleet back in the air. Then we went and retrieved Galactica, pulled her right out of the water where we left her, and spent the last year building her back up. Colonial Fleet is now a branch of the Ministry of Defense, reformed by the people who've been fighting the ground war since Caprica City was first bombarded. Jubal Sarkis leads the Fleet Admiralty, and he's made sure the Quorum knows its place this time around. Without Colonial Fleet, there is no war, no resistance, and no freedom. Galactica has been reinstated to the head of BSG-75, under my command. We are, once again, one of many in the shield against the Cylon. We have a second chance and bear the full weight of the 12 colonies. From today, we do not lose to the toasters. Well, we'll see how long that lasts. I mean, I certainly do like uh, do like this series, do, do like this game. I call it the series at this point, really, because it kind of feels like one, at least uh, story-wise, that is. Though, obviously, it's just one game and all of the DLCs for it or expansions. Welcome aboard Galactica, Commander. Not sure that it lives up to the Daedalus CIC. Comfort wasn't our priority in getting this bird farm back in the air. Take a moment to familiarize yourself. CIC briefing is at the top of the hour. Okay, so I have one fleet, BSG-75, which has room in it. I mean, it's got quite a lot of room in it, so what I am going to do is build some ships. Uh, specifically, 
I think I'll start with the Jupiter. Yeah, seems like a good point. So go with the Jupiter. Uh, even though it's going to consume a lot of points. Done. And then, uh, and rush it, of course. And then also get... Oh, that's a good question. What else should I get? Heracles, no, no, no. I'll go with the uh, support, a uh, Celestra. Now, Celestras are going to be very vulnerable. Anyway, transfer this one to BSG 75. Yeah, transfer this one. Oh, very good. And well, that's pretty much all that I can afford at this point. The silent threat level is low. Another Let's see. request from Ministry, Commander. This particular fleet is one of the central pillars of Cylon Command in this sector. We take it out, and Cylon Foundations will be that little bit weaker. All right. Let's go for it. End the turn. Proceed. And let's see what we have here. What kind of Cylon fleet uh, stands in my way? What I'm actually worried about here, because I've, I've played against Cylons before, uh, the real worry is not their um, gunships. That's not the problem. It's their missile ships that I'm actually worried about. Like, yeah, some of my smaller ships, uh, like the the, like the Nyx here or the Tempest, could be very vulnerable to them. Uh, but I'm genuinely worried uh, more so about the the battle stars, the manticores, all that. Uh, so yeah, I'm just worried uh, the minotaurs. As I am uh, worried about uh, them from that perspective. So I'm just gonna go with the default loadout. No reason to use extra supply. That this adamant is, let's just say, going to be very vulnerable. Uh, let's go. So one of the things about the Jupiters is that they have a lot of top firepower, so you really want to come in low and hit them with the main guns Fleet of uh, Galactica. Three, two, one. All right, so two battle stars, Straight two minotaurs. Cylon fleet is present. All right, let's get going. Ought to be careful on, here. I'm a bit worried about that field right there. But I'll deal I'm with on, that commander. as it I'm is. On, I'm going to deploy vipers. Got it. Yes, sir. Got it. Now, uh, the reason here. So yeah, we have a. Uh, we have the Galactic, which is a Mark II. Can't build those. I can only build the Mark Ones. Okay, so let's get going. Now the reason I'm deploying fighters is just really due to the fact that I expect a lot of missiles. Uh, the Raptors, their role will be to boost the firewalls on my ships because hacking is a big problem, and if they take down the subsystems, then that also becomes an issue. So uh, I'm going to use. Uh, use these. Hold on. Uh, boost firewalls. Okay. Okay, boost firewalls. Yeah. Do them on the Hermes. Start Missiles firing, actually. Okay. Oh, I kind of forgot that the Adamant also has. Yeah, there we go. Uh, and yeah, there. Yeah, end the turn. Okay. But I'm a bit worried with the flak. Just uh, because the yes, implication is going to send these guys Got actually it. on a direct course against enemy ships. Seems fine, but just keep in mind this is... Come back yeah, that's what I was worried about. Priority one is safe hand. 
Now the good thing is there that they actually targeted my um, uh, my ca my battle stars with uh, with those missile barrages, so they can handle that. Sending these ships, the adamant, turn them, because I was actually worried. Send the manticore to fire its missiles. Clear and stone is active. Nemesis gone. Okay, start boosting weaponry over here. Start firing. Boost more weapons, that kind of stuff. The hacking is still ongoing, but I think we can handle that. Fire more weapons. Uh, I kind of forgot what that was the cooldown. I think next turn I have to start activating the flag. I'll also send the vipers to run interference against them. All right, ne Nemesis is going to die. We have another one pretty much low, another Nemesis over here. I haven't really taken any kind of real damage here actually. Uh, so that's that's a good situation there. But yeah, I'm, I'm at this point. Got it. Okay. Yes, sir. All right, send them. Squadron is taking fire. All right, they've get him, done get it. Get him, get him, get him. Alert squadron to keep 42 by 73 for flak projections. Okay, flak projections. Yes, okay, Commander. Celestra there. Okay. Get closer. Right, so Nemesis there. They can actually be dangerous because they have they can have such a powerful barrage of missiles, and then you have to consider the fact that they also. Yeah, that's, that's what right. I was worried about. That's right. That's what you get, crackers. That's it. All Cylon units are dark. They didn't know what hit them. Indeed. So success uh, story right there. Victory. Escort priority one still online. Escort clearance zone is set. Priority one is in safe hands. Escort clearance zone is active. Adjusting shot by point three two. Fire. Keep the target locked and watch for clearance. Reloading. Get him, get him, get him. Alert squadrons to keep 42 by 73 for flat projection. That's right, Frackers! That's right. That's what you get, Frackers. Now my starting admiral is a fairly high level one, so he he starts out with everything unlocked, which is a good situation we have yeah, time passing all that kind of stuff some days it feels like ministry wants us to be the golden poster mm -hmm. boy for their recruitment drives other days like we're their janitors cleaning up everyone else's mess it's nice to have something uncomplicated ahead of us for once somehow we've kept this whole galactica refit away from cylon intel as much as i'd like to enlighten them over half this crew has rotated in from outside of bsg 75. Admiralty wants marks on the board before we risk our people out on the front line. If you would, Mr. Singh. Sir, a Cylon recon group in the Barry Center almost outed us a few times while Galactica was being put back together. Our first live operation is to remove the scout fleet from the Caprica Geminon binary. Commander, I know you being here may muddy the waters. Some of the old crew still hold you and Kane accountable for what happened to us at Caprica. But 
Sarkis wants Galactica back in Colonial Fleet, and I need your experience on this deck. Mr. Singh, all orders from the operational commander are heard as if they come out of my own mouth. Understood? Yes, sir. Battlestar Group 75 is ready when you are, Commander. Yes, I am getting another Jupiter because, hey, I can fucking afford it and because I want that. Okay. What's that? Some days it feels like no, 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 wants not to that. be the golden poster boy for their recruitment drives. Other days, like we're their janitors, cleaning up everyone else's mess. It's nice to have something uncomplicated ahead of us for once. Yeah. Okay. Let's call them the Iron Legion. Yep. Uh, and I need an officer for these guys as well. All right, Battlestar Group 75, you will you guys will be jumping there and dealing with the problem. Oh, okay. So I need more requisition points for the Mark II. Uh, I don't know why that's not showing up weirdly. Anyway, so yeah, uh, that that's what uh, it's going to cost. Uh, I am low on Tellium, but that's fine. Hold on, save, yes, yes you can save, this is not an Iron Man, let's go. So I said, I'm I'm worried really mainly about the missile barrages, those are the things that can really do damage. The Cylons don't really have the ballistic firepower to pierce through my armor, so it's really all nuclear missiles for them and uh, another weaponry like that, that uh, will do the trick. Now against free battle stars, good luck, I would say. Uh, don't underestimate them though, they can be pretty nasty all the same. So I want to put my support, my Celestra over there, uh, just so it has some kind of protection over, over here against the Cylons. So on the highest difficulty, uh, the Cylons the group is jumping in three, are going to be two, trickier to deal one. with. I don't. I do expect to be able to curb stomp them in, in quite a few battles, but let's just say I tried this. Dreadus contacts bearing zero two five Karim zero zero six. Cylon IFFs confirmed. Engage with the toasters. Not a single one of them gets to run back to Geminon. This is a cakewalk, people. We do our jobs. We kill the enemy. We live up to the name of Galactica and Colonial Fleet. You take it from here, Commander. Okay, let's get start. Uh, let's get started. Right, time to deploy all Raptors and of uh, Vipers. Yes, Commander. Now, the goal of the Raptors, the reason I haven't gone for Assault ra Raptors is I really don't feel yes, the need for them. They can be useful in certain situations, but just the usual, uh, the usual ones uh, just seem like a better fit in this particular circumstance. Uh, circumstance. Anyway, let's get going. Deploy everything we have. I might send the scouting group just to understand exactly where they are. One group of raptors. There we go. Right, so we got a Phobos. Start firing yes, missiles. Here's what I'm going, going to do. I'm going to... Okay, uh... Yeah, defend at location. No, no, no. Defend at location. 
Okay, flag fire. Okay. No, my own flag is Escort priority one, not on liking that. Mine detected. Hey, Commander, mm -hmm. is it true you were one of the last people off the data list before, well, you know, all of that? Now is not the time for backstory, Mr. Singh. Just saying, sir. Feels good to have another bona fide chrome buster on deck. You should have seen this crew before. We've got a roster to fill, so I'll recruit all the experience I can. Back to the task at hand, Lieutenant. All right. Okay, so, uh, Raptors... They get to boost the firewalls on this one. On the FIA. Okay. Oh, they're... Yeah, okay. Alright. Battlestar is being hacked. Missiles incoming. Yeah, what do you think? Oh, shit. Come on, come on, come on. Battlestar is being hacked. Did they break the... Yes, sir. Yeah, they seem to have. All right, focus fire. Yeah, I was wondering what the hell was going on there. All right. Yes, sir. Let's send our friend, uh, our guys, to deal with them. Battlestar is being hacked. Our Vipers will go deal with it. Oh dear, that's bad. <laughs> Goodbye, Celestra. I'm on it, Commander. Yeah, let's try and save it all the same. Yeah, gonna fire missiles at that one. Celestra is taking damage. Target acquisition is screwed. Give me manual unit now. identified. Got it. I'm on it, Commander. Okay, boost, uh... Okay. Send the Vipers all for that Missiles one. Incoming. Keep that Celestra is taking damage. Switching down the manual. Okay, stop the flak. Right, the armory is going down, which is obviously not ideal. Confirmed squadron target. Turn around, very good. All right. Get that Phobos. Adjusting shot by point zero six. Celestial is taking damage. Yeah, that's uh got it. Okay. <laughs> that's really not good. You know, fire control online offline. Alright. Uh fire munitions, okay. All of them firing munitions at the Phobos. Missiles incoming. Got it. So say we all. System repairs underway. All 
All right, Nemesis taken down. Viper squadrons go uh, pick up some, uh, go deal with someone else. Uh, gonna have to repair fire control over here. Okay, what about those uh, Raptors? Let's recall them. Yes, Commander. They need missiles. Yes, Commander. Okay, switch there. Okay, this one is still actually in the fight, so say deal with the Phobos right here. I'm a bit worried about this particular Jupiter. A bit. Just a bit. To be honest, that Celestra is a bigger worry. Alright, Nemesis gonna take be taken down. I think I should start sending the... Yeah, Vipers are all gonna go for... Well, wait a second. Yeah, I'd say it's finished. So, Phobos. Okay, once the munitions are recuperated... What is that? Still firing mines! So, yeah, not great. Okay. Yeah, uh, move it around, turn it around, boost thrusters actually. Okay. I'm on it, Commander. <laughs> you know, the interesting thing about boosting thrusters is you can't do the turns that you really want to. They're breaking, push the line. All right. Let's bring our people home. A battle star is being hacked. Wow, I think I may have underestimated the power there. Okay. Yep, yeah, okay. Yes, sir. Yeah, boost the thrusters. I mean, the Phobos should be dead next turn anyway. Yeah, I think I'm going to stop That's using right, Vipers Bradford. defensively, right. considering the damage that they just did there. Reaching bingo fuel. Bingo fuel? My ass. Don't have fuel. All marks down. Fleet is cleaning up and preparing to muster out. Galactica's back in action, sir. Toasters don't know what's coming for them. Don't get cocky, Lieutenant. We've still got a whole war ahead of us yet. Escort clearance zone is active. Escort priority one still online. We're taking fire! Mark is coming on priority one. Come on, come on, come on!
military battery. Full attack mode. Fire at will. They're breaking. Push the line. All right. Let's bring our people home. That's right, frackers. That's right. Reaching Dingo fuel. All right, kind of feel I'm wasting this good admiral over here, because he's not uh, like I'm gonna need to fight certain battles without an ad admiral of that caliber. Anyway, so we have another battle, and then we have it's been a while mission two. What do we have here? Admiral, welcome aboard. Thought I'd get a bit more time before you came with the leash. Silas, good to see you back on your feet. How's she handling? Still rough around the edges but better than expected given the timeline. Mr. Quaid's lived up to his end of the bargain. Guess that means we have to live up to ours. We can let him stew on Vergon for a little while longer. He hasn't earned his chance at a new life just yet. It is good to see Galactica back in the sky. Means a lot to the people back home. Means something to those of us still here as well. Though, I'm surprised Larson didn't ask you for a ground transfer at the Ministry. After she personally pulled you out of the ocean, we both know the first sergeant would be your XO if we could prize the rifle out of her hands. Eleanor Larson isn't going anywhere. Semper Fidelis to the grave. And Agathon didn't come with you. She is still active, I assume. The Praetor's needed elsewhere. If you feel your crew is ready to turn around, I've got another outing we could use you at. But I'd understand if you opt for sure leave first. Go visit your boy. Looks like he's grown since you were last. We're ready now. I'll have the CIC cleared for your briefing in 20. Some days it feels like Ministry wants us to be the golden poster boy for their recruitment drives. Other days like we're their janitors, cleaning up everyone else's mess. It's nice to have something uncomplicated ahead of us for once. New objective, Commander. Admiralty wants every bit of data on these satellites wiped clean. Seems they're a serious liability, and Sarkis has opted for a complete explosive destruction, instead of the more efficient select-all-delete. All right, Costine here, signing out. Thank you all for watching, and... Stay tuned for more, or maybe I could go for one more. Nah, nah I'll do that off screen, maybe. Uh, but yeah, stay tuned for more.